All right, so you've done a lot of work with fractions by now, especially on the addition and subtraction front, but how do you subtract mixed numbers with regrouping? I'm Jimmy, and I'm here to answer that question right now. When you have fractions, it's hard enough to subtract them, and you've already gotten the idea as to how to subtract one fraction from another without having to borrow. But there are going to be times in which you'll be asked to do that, because sometimes you can have a smaller fraction subtracted by a larger fraction. So here's an example as to how to do that. You have 10 and 2 sevenths minus 6 and 4 sevenths. You don't want to do the 10 minus 6 first, even though you read left to right. You have to deal with the fractions first, the 2 sevenths and the 4 sevenths. Now, unfortunately, this 4 sevenths is larger than the 2 sevenths, so you can't subtract 2 sevenths minus 4 sevenths. So what you have to do, whenever the top fraction portion is smaller, you have to regroup or you have to borrow. So where do you borrow from? It has to be from the 10 because it's right next to it. If you borrow, two things happen. If you have to borrow one whole, the 10 now becomes a 9 because you're borrowing one whole. Now, this is where the denominator comes in. Because the denominator is 7, that's how many additional pieces you're going to have. So that means the 2, which is the numerator up here, now adds 7 extra pieces to help you. So now, the 10 and 2 sevenths become 9, and our new numerator is 9 over 7. It now has enough pieces to be able to subtract the second fraction. You notice I'm not touching the second fraction, I'm only dealing with the first. But I'm just going to carry over the minus 6 and 4 sevenths, and now I can subtract both pieces. 9 sevenths minus 4 sevenths, 9 minus the 4 is 5 sevenths. And now, and only now, can I subtract the whole numbers. 9 minus 6 is 3. So therefore, 10 and 2 sevenths minus 6 and 4 sevenths is 3 and 5 sevenths. So I'm Jimmy, and that's how you subtract mixed numbers with regrouping.